All right, so hearty shrimp and corn chowder is on today's Virginia This Morning, and you, courtesy of our next guest, local Richmond caterer, Chef Franklin Crump. Welcome back to the show. Welcome. How are you doing today? Okay. So we, we've got a lot of things going on. Can we turn this down just a tad bit? Yes. Yeah. So I, I've been looking, and I, my eyes are popping. The food is amazing. We're gonna, but we're going to talk about corn chowder. Yes, Let's talk about that first. All right. So what I got here is um, it, it, it's a process, and it takes you know a day or two to prep the base of the soup. So what I have here is carrots, celery, and onions, and um, and shrimp shells, in which I saute for a long time. Shrimp shells. The actual shell. Okay. So and it has tomatoes mm -hmm. in it, and then. You know, after it cooks down, I take and add just a touch of flour to it, just, you know, a couple tablespoons of flour, and then I throw the corn cobs in the broth also. And this, you know, we bring this to a boil and simmers for maybe an hour and a half. Then we puree it and then strain it and mm -hmm. then reduce it down, and that's the base of the soup. Okay. Okay. So here we have, let me get back this. Here okay. we have, we're just going to build the soup. Um, here we yeah. have the vegetables. And that's butter you just put in there. Um, butter and olive oil. Okay. So we have some potatoes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and so some these carrots. Are, yeah, these are just the vegetables that are going in the soup itself. And these have already been blanched. And we take the vegetables, the juice, the liquid from the blanched vegetables, and we actually put that in the base of the soup also. Okay. So we've got some onions in there. And then we just throw some shrimp. And this is raw shrimp. Yeah, and we just saute it up. And it all comes together. That's very powerful. Put, mm -hmm. I forgot to put my apron on, but that's okay. Oh, that's okay. So this just actually just comes up, and then once it, the shrimp are cooked in it, we're going to add the broth to it, which has been strained and pure, pureed okay. and strained, so, mm -hmm. which is just basically liquid shrimp. When you taste it, it oh. just tastes like liquid shrimp. We add a touch of sherry to that, and then we finish it with cream. So we'll just go ahead touch and add Touch of sherry this. and then cream. Mm -hmm. I wish I could smell this. It smells delicious. And then we'll just hit it with a little bit of cream and let that come up. And that's mm -hmm. it. That's the it soup. It took less than what? Less oh. than a minute. Yeah, less than a minute but to the, do. But the you know the key is the base, which takes a while to make. Now um, we say a while. What do you mean? Well, you know, I started the base yesterday morning, and I guess it took me about three <laughs> hours. Like, to make. No, 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 I don't want to yeah. do that. So you were starving all day yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, as it comes up, we just, you know, we bring it on up, and as uh, soon as the shrimp are done, the soup is ready. And so how long do, does the shrimp stay in there? You only, you only want a little color to it? Yeah, we just want to cook them two or three minutes. Um, you know, the seafood take, it cooks very quickly, and um, the more you cook it, the tougher it is. So we just want to just bring it up until it's just done, which is almost there. Here on the table, we have the smoke. We had a customer order the smoked Gouda Mac on Saturday, so I just decided to make again, and it's absolutely divine. Smoke Gouda Mac. Let me yes. just stay it's, right it's here. It's a smack your mama <laughs> Mac, but with smoked Gouda. Smack, Gouda's. smack oh, your mama. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have collard Pass greens. Me a fork over mm -hmm. there. We have collard greens here with Hulk's bacon, uh -huh. and of course the Rico wings. Um, here up front, we have the shrimp and grits, and what we did, we did it like I, my grandmother used to do it. She used to take the leftover grits and form them into cakes, and then pan fry them. And then, let me show that. That's what that yeah, is. Yeah, so it's really, really right good. Yeah. We have right here. We have the Price crab little... cakes with the Alabama white sauce. Can you see mm. that? No long, no um, filler whatsoever. I'm taking oh. this one with hey, me. Hey, I'm Alabamian. <laughs> Pass that on. <laughs> and then over here to your right, we have the grilled bistro steak with red eye reduction, which is just Coca-Cola gravy, and it's been Coca-Cola gravy. Yeah, it's it's really nice. And we had um, Coca-Cola on the show yesterday. Really, we should have had some of that. Yeah. So now the soup is ready to go. So all we want to do, excuse me, Nikki, mm -hmm. is we, we just want to we just want to plate it. Up. Plate that. Can you do that with um, um, chicken or meat chicken, instead of shrimp? Yeah, you can use anything you want in it. Oh, for a vegetarian, for maybe a vegetarian they can use, you can use uh, tofu or something. Mm -hmm. And you know, you can also add like mussels and grilled salmon or just get fancy. Just whatever you want to that. But that's the soup right there, and uh, that's about it. It's beautiful. And when you said a soup, I was thinking a little bit more, uh, more liquid yeah. in there. You know, like but a, this is my kind of soup. Yeah, I want hearty. It's hearty, yeah, hearty mm -hmm. and that's what it is. That'll actually fill you up. It's not one exactly, of those filler soups. Exactly. Exactly. And there's a lot of vegetables in it, so it's just good stuff. I really love it. We named that after uh, one of the waitresses I used to work with in Williamsburg, Virginia, many years ago. Her name was Kitty, so we just couldn't figure out a name for the soup, so we just called it Kitty Hawk Chowder. 
You know, I love that. So, like, sometimes when I see chefs and they come on and I go, well, I can't do that. How, how you know, for some of us who can really cook, <laughs> yeah, it's it, do it, stuff like this. Yeah, people just think over or overthink things. It's ah. just really simple food. Everything here is just, just so, my grandmother made everything on this table. But you know, for those of us who really can't cook, we can come to you, <laughs> yes. right? Yes. Okay, Danny that's Red's what we, that's what we yes, love to have right there. <laughs> All right, because so, I tell y'all what, this. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm into the soup. Don't I'll get me wrong, there, but you know, my that. macaroni is my favorite. And this has got what in it? Tell me. Smoked gouda. It's smack your mama mac. Bird, Which is awesome. My favorite. And right. Then but we just gouda? added gouda to it this time because a customer requested it. Well, I like that customer, whoever they were. I like it. They got going on. So was, we decided to make it again. And you, you did you mention the fish? Yeah. This is just southern fried fish. Okay. You know, cornmeal and flour, salt and pepper. There's not a lot of crazy spices. Just salt mm -hmm. and pepper. Gonna that's what we grew up on. Right. Do some quality All right. control right so, now. All right, well, thank you for watching, Virginia, this morning. Thank you so much for coming by. Anytime.